The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known, until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. What, you're shy now? I sweet-talked your father into letting me share the good news. You do remember what today is, don't you? A double wedding. You're getting married, and so is Soros. That's what I came to tell you. Your bride, Nessiara, she's here early. And who else are you going to marry? Besides, I already snuck a peek. She's beautiful. There's going to be music, decorations, feasting. Weddings are so much fun. You're so lucky. I think he's just glad he's not alone. He's sweating so much, he looks like a human. <laughs> All right, I'll stop tormenting you. 
I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside, so move it. Good morning, my son. It's your big day. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. I'm sure they sent your betrothed early for good reason. The Elder took it in stride, at least. Maybe trouble was brewing at the High Ever Alienage, or the family didn't want your betrothed traveling later in the season. Whatever the reason, I paid the dowry, the Chantry issued the permit, and everything worked out fine. <laughs> I understand. Before I met Adaya, I was ready to go hunt for the Dalish. Just be glad I chose the match. Without parents to represent you, children like your cousin Soros end up marrying... I don't know. I haven't met the... <laughs> I don't know. I haven't met the girl. You should go and see for yourself if you're curious. All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. You will soon enough. Oh, one last thing before you go, son. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, best not to mention it to your betrothed. Later. Definitely later. We don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. Our world is full of so many injustices. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on then, I still have some things to do and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Many blessings, young one. We hope to stay for the celebration, but we must be off. I wish we could. The human who owns our building has decided to sell it for storage space. We can't afford to live anywhere else here, so we're leaving Denerim. The Ostagar ruins. The army camp there is calling for laborers. We wanted to look for work in High Ever. But that's just not possible. You're still a child. You can't do anything. Enjoy your special day and put us out of your mind. What my husband means is, you're very generous, but we don't need charity to solve our problems. Many thanks. Again, blessings on your day. Wait! Can I talk to you a moment? I apologize for my parents. They're too proud to accept help, much less ask for it. My parents will labor in the army camp, and they'll expect me to do the same, but... I don't like the idea of being surrounded by human soldiers who haven't seen a woman in months. Of course, but I can't imagine anyone here has much to spare. We'd need another three silvers to make it to High Ever. And if we got another ten silvers, we could rent a house here. Maybe one large enough to start a business. But <laughs> that's just dream talk. Nobody has that much money, and if they did, why would they give it to us? I don't have much hope. Well, here's hoping. We'll be leaving soon, though. Hello there. Congratulations on the big day. Have you seen Soros? Well, if you see him, ask him to come by and say hello, will you? Well, it's the lucky groom himself. Hello, dear. Now, love, he probably doesn't remember us. Oh, of course. I'm Delwen, and this is Gethon. We were friends of your mother's. We haven't seen much of you since... well... Your father still doesn't speak of her, does he? Adaya was beautiful, and full of life. 
and a bit wild. She wanted you more than anything. It's sad she never got to see you all grown up. We just wanted to see you today and express our good wishes. It means the world to us to see you happy. We've saved a bit of money for this day. We'd... We'd like you to have it. To help start your new life. Make her bless you. I'll be right back, Father. Be quick. We've got packing to do. So, any news? Where did you get this much money? Never mind. I'm sure not talking you out of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. You saved my family. I love you. Now I just have to handle the parents. Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin. <laughs> Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? Are you surprised? Apparently your bride's a dream come true. Mine sounds like a dying mouse. That's terrible. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. So you landed yourself a pretty little prize, did you? Excuse me if I don't congratulate you. Don't act like you care. Your father has the money to get you a great match. Meanwhile, what did I get? A fat old man who smells like the docks and wouldn't know what to do with a woman even if he was sober. Don't give me your pitiful reassurances. Spoiled brat. Excuse me, I'm terribly... Hey, you're gonna be late for your own wedding. What if you're wrong? <laughs> How terrible that would be. The groom is supposed to be handsome and caring, and <laughs> definitely not late. Only humans don't care about being respectful. <laughs> father said it this morning when my brothers didn't want to get out of bed. He said they were acting like lazy humans. I guess. They're pretty lazy. Alms? My lord, can you spare a coin for a man down on his luck? I worked on the docks, living day to day never knowing if my family would go hungry. The humans always left us the dangerous work, in the high beams of the warehouses or in the water. I was rigged up, cleaning the side of a ship, when it drifted against another and my legs were crushed between. The human foreman had me hauled out and dumped in an alley. My sons didn't find me until day's end. So now I live on the charity of those who don't even have enough for themselves. May the Maker's eyes look down with love on your day. There's the man of the hour. How are you, Soros? I'm well. Have you met my cousin? He's getting married today, too. Not formally, no. Blessings to both of you lucky grooms. There is something you should know, Soros. My brothers won't be coming. They left to find the Dalish, you see. They're elves who supposedly live free wandering the forests. I don't think they really exist, though. Well, my brothers certainly believe they do. Even Alarith swears that Dalish elves saved him on his way to Denerim. <laughs> Nonsense. Neither do I. They are supposed to be savages. I worry about my brother's safety. Don't worry, Theodore. I'm sure your brothers will be fine. I hope so. I should go. Best wishes to you both. <laughs> Let go of me! Stop, please! It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. 
So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here! Silence, worm! I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Fine. But let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's this? The two grooms come to welcome me personally. <laughs> You hear that, Vaughn? Ha! Do you have any idea who I am? Are you insane? This is Vaughn Orion, the Isle of Denerim's son. What? Oh, Maker. You've a lot of nerve, Night Fears. This'll go badly for you. Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I... I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. I am lucky to finally see you with my own eyes. Uh, I'm sure the two of you have a lot to discuss. Well, here we are. Are you nervous? I was nervous on the trip down, but now that I'm here... I'm looking forward to what's next. It was hard to leave Hyaver, but your father's matchmaker spoke highly of you, and rightfully so. Denerim itself seems friendlier than Hyaver. Perhaps because it's so large that humans take less notice of us. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll hunt you down. <laughs> Don't look now, but we have another problem. Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. I'm more worried about some of our boys. Wine is flowing, and I don't think we want another incident. Let's do this quickly. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding. I do. I believe, however, that I may have already found what I was seeking. That is my business. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. And I refuse yet again. Now what? He keeps his composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It has been far too long. May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. They are a great order of warriors, child, sworn to protect our world from the Darkspawn. But my question remains unanswered. Why are you here, Duncan? The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Kaelin summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding, too, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. 
We shall speak more later. Oh, Saurus. There you are. I was afraid you'd run off. No, I'm here. Fellow groom in tow. Good. I'm so pleased to finally do this. Looks like everyone's ready. You too, cousin. Maybe it won't be so bad after all. Friends and family, today we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people. But that was not always so. Andraste, the Maker's prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, remember that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valandrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the Maker who brought us this world, and in whose name we say the Chant of Light, I... My lord, this is <gasps> an unexpected surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party. And uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> My lord, this is a wedding! Ha! If you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. Now, ah, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? <laughs> Just a good time with the ladies, that's all! <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and... Where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughan! Let me go, you stuffed shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. What do we do? Ah, yes. The uppity runt that thinks he's worthy of speaking to me. Don't worry. I'll return whatever's left in time for the honeymoon. I live in fear. Back to the palace, boys. 